Hello, I'm Dr. Chuck Lynch from the College of Public Health and the College of Medicine at the University of Iowa. I'd like to talk to you today about residential radon and lung cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the United States and in Iowa. Radon is a naturally occurring gas. You can't see it, you can't smell it, and you can't taste it. And in that sense, it's similar to carbon monoxide. But you can measure it, and that's what we're going to talk about today, how it gets into your home, how you can measure it, and if it's elevated, how you can get it out of your home. So most of us live in a home, and this home uh, often has a basement in it, which means it's surrounded by soil on the sides and underneath. This is the primary source of radon, and it's coming from the decay of small amounts of uranium. So it's a decay product of uh, uranium, and it emits a radioactive particle. So the way radon can enter in your home is through cracks in your basement wall or in your basement floor. In addition, you can have a sump pump in your basement, and you could also have a bathtub or a shower down there, and hot water and cold water need to get to that in some way, and that can lead to breaks uh, in your basement flooring as well. Radon levels are typically highest in the basement level of the home. But depending upon how air circulates in your home, you can move it around. So you can move it up to your bedroom, this type of thing. Now you can buy these radon detectors at your local hardware store. They cost a few dollars. Typically they'll have instructions with it and they'll tell you to place it in the basement uh, of your home. You'll leave it there for a few days, they'll give you instructions as to where to send it you'll get a report back about the reading, which is why you did the test in the first place. In this reading, you will see that a number will be associated with it. The number you're looking for is a number less than four, but if it's four or greater, it means that you've reached the level of action indicated by the Environmental Protection Agency, which means they would recommend that you lessen the radon levels in your home. We call that process radon mitigation. Now, with this process, there are professionals available who can come into your home and uh, assist you with this problem. But before you go to that, if you have an elevated level in your basement and you don't spend much time in your basement, you should consider where do I spend time in my home and you should place a detector in that area. If it is greater than four, you'll want to consider uh, lessening the radon level. That's going to involve sealing up these cracks so that the gas can't get in. Uh, including around your bathtub and any other wares where you have breakages uh, in your wall or your basement floor, and then putting a seal over this sump pump. Now these seals still allow your sump pump to work to move water out. They're, they're made uh, just for this problem. And uh, typically what you'll do then is uh, around the home they'll drill about a four inch diameter hole uh, in your basement floor, remove that piece of cement, dig the, out the soil around that, and this is going to be a place where radon gas can accumulate and never get into your home. They'll place a pipe around this and bring it to the, uh, up along the wall of your home and then to the outside and then vent it up uh, above your uh, roof. And they'll place a fan on it and this fan will create the suction that actually removes the radon gas from underneath and around your home so it never enters into it and it lowers the level to a safe level. Doing this is very important here in Iowa because seven out of 10 homes here in this state have elevated radon levels during closed home conditions. That would be during the summertime with air conditioning or during the winter with heating. The other thing I'd like to point out is don't depend on your neighbors to indicate to you what your radon level is. It can vary greatly from home to home in the same neighborhood, so you should measure your own home. For more information, we provide you with this website.